Well, we've just finished round 24 of the NBL competition. There's only one round remaining, but tell us, apparently, who are all the winners in the penultimate round of basketball action? There were two overtime games. The first one was the Gold Coast Blaze, 101, lost to the Adelaide 36ers, 102. This was a game that had everything except defence, as the Blaze and the Sixers went up and down trading baskets for 45 minutes. Harvey Clark and Gibson lit it up for the Blaze, but finally it was Reese Carter who had the final say from downtown to win it for the Sixers at the buzzer. The second overtime game, Cairns 90, Perth Wildcats 87. More OT basketball, this time with something on it, as the Snakes and the Cats had playoffs on their minds. Ubaka and Dorsey were the men for the Taipans, as they survived a barrage of Wildcat shots at the end of regulation and OT. The win put the Taipans into the playoffs and with a shot at finishing third. Melbourne Tigers 72, Townsville Crocodiles 82. The Crocs needed to win to finish second on the ladder and they got it. The Tigers led by seven going into the fourth quarter on the back of spectacular work from Walker and a big third quarter from Williams. But the Crocs went seven of seven on threes in the last period to win by 10 as Cedar, Allen and Blaylock all connected from the land of plenty. Finally, the Wollongong Hawks 86, the Sydney Kings 70. The Hawks went into this knowing their playoff hopes were cooked, but they finished strongly nonetheless. Irvin snagged more MVP votes and Foreman closed out his best NBL season with another double-double. Ben Madsen had 17 and put a lock on Rookie of the Year, surely for the Kings. And they are back at the bottom of the ladder. It was an exciting round and there's only one round remaining before we tip off the final series. So to keep up to date with all the goings on, Check out It Goes Off, the official podcast of the INET NBL Championships.